Hi. Hello, everybody, and welcome. I'm a mess today. Holy cow, wow. I'm messing everything up today. Wow, Amazing. technical difficulties. Oh. Are, but no, it's not really yes. technical, it's more you. Yep, yeah, it's, it is more so me than anything else. Hi, everybody. User error. <laughs> well, welcome to the Homewrecker Podcast. I <gasps> am the Golden Greek, finally speaking into the right microphone. Alex Arion, and I am joined by my beautiful, lovely, gorgeous, amazing trophy wife, the lovely Monique. Hi. Hi. How's it going? It's great. Yeah? How are you? Fantastic, as always. Yeah? yeah. Knee socks and lollipops. Knee what? <laughs> Knee socks and lollipops. Wow, I haven't heard that in, since 1935. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it's been a while. Holy cow. Okay. I'm sure I've said that around you before. Yeah, you have. It's just been a while. That's all I was trying to say. I was being very hyperbolic. Okay. Or something. Is that? I don't even speak know. Words. I don't even know if I used that correctly. <laughs> I so, don't know. <laughs> maybe I did. Words are hard. I was trying to sound smart because what we're going to talk about today. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't have a clue about what we're going. to... I felt dumb looking at this and listening to all of the different theories behind it made me feel even dumber after because i'm like what oh so anyway like, for some others me i'm like oh just look at the pictures we're good Let, yeah. let's tell them what we're talking yeah, yeah, about yeah probably talk about or jeez i'm a, wow like tongue tied okay. i can't talk it's okay i love you you got me <sighs> yes i took a deep breath into the microphone that was a sigh as well we're talking about the voynich manuscript yeah something i never heard of until recently yeah, I'm surprised you've never even heard of this thing before. I live a sheltered life. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I just, it has not come across my travels, and we were looking for a fun documentary to watch because I've been in a documentary mood. Yeah. And that came up, and you're like, oh, wait a minute, go back. And I'm just like, what's that? Huh? And we watched it, and it yeah. was fascinating. Yeah, it's it's. I've heard about it, through you know throughout the years and everything. But I never actually like looked into it. I think I may have heard like a podcast on it a couple of years back or something, and I was like, oh, that sounds pretty interesting. And then just eh, whatever. But then uh, yeah, it's it's come across my. It's come it's come into my frame of vision. My it's come across your path. Come across. Thank you. That's what I was trying to say. I don't know why I can't think today. Apologies to everyone listening and watching. Uh, but yeah, no, it's, it, you know, I've seen Voyage Manuscript, it's popped up a bunch of different times, so, you know, if I've been looking at stuff online or mm -hmm. whatever, and I was like, yeah, you know, that looks pretty, go back to that, and then we, I think we watched the trailer for it, and we were like, okay, let's watch that. And, pretty easy going when it comes yeah, to Yeah, and you ended up being pretty interested by it. I think it's an interesting story. Um, of course, me being me, I'm like, I want to crack this. Yeah, right. I want to figure it out. And then I'm like, oh, I don't know other languages. Well, yeah, well, I mean, that's the thing with it. It's, uh, I mean, well, why don't we explain what it is first? Do you want All to right. take this? So the Voy Voynich Manuscript is a book. and It's a book. It's a book! That's, it. that's all you got to know. All right, everybody, thank you for listening this week. And uh, next week we'll be back with another episode. Yeah, it's, it's a book. It's a book, yes. So it is a book that people believed was written in code of some sort because they couldn't decipher the language. So for years, over a hundred years, they've been trying to figure out, and maybe even longer, they've been trying to figure well, out could you... what the book means. So we got, not the actual book, because it's not available, but we got the book put out by Yale, the Voynich Manuscript. And yeah, so, so it's a nice hard cover yeah. facsimile of the book. So it for those for our watchers, it um has I'm gonna try to hold it up. You can see there's pictures, there's writing, but there's some language that is It's in a language that's difficult we, to understand. It's not in a it's not in English. Let's it's not that. American. It, yeah, it's not in English and it's also it's a language that scholars and researchers have been trying to decipher, as you said, for over a hundred years, yeah. like a, a, as far as uh, like current time, mm -hmm. I guess, current time, yeah, more recent time, 
But the book itself, when was it? When has it been traced back to? So more recently, they carbon dated it, and they said that it was most. It's everything seems to go back to the 1400s, but there's kind of a time frame to when they think that it originated somewhere between 1404 and 1438, I believe. And it was in Europe, correct? They think it's Italy. And part of the reason okay. why they think it's Italy is because in one of the images, there's a castle and it has swallowtail part, like I guess they're called swallowtails on the building, the way the architecture is. And those for that time were found in Italy. Okay. And that's how, I guess, they traced it back that way. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. So, this book was received by... Um, you can go ahead and look at the, at the little... Yeah, I'm going to cheat. Wilfred Voynich. He was a book dealer. He purchased the book. Back when? Back in 1912. All right. Do you want to go through this chronologically, or do we want to start from... Voynich, since well, it's named after. Yeah, him. we should. I think we should start from there and kind right, of so go, go through. There. So, Voynich got this book, and I guess he hoped to he could decipher it, but he was never able to. And that's where it really became popular was once he got this book. Until then, it seemed to have just passed along randomly. Now, passed along where? Like, that, that's the thing. It just passed from, like, person to person. So but it it's wasn't believed. just... It's not like it went from Grandma to Aunt Betty to... It, it was no, passed we're talking on about, like, nobility. It was passed along... It people with to, money. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So it wasn't just, like, randomly handed off. It went... It changed but hands. But we don't know all the hands that it exchanged, is what I'm trying to say. Right, but we do have a timeline. There is a, have been yeah. able to piece together a timeline mm -hmm. going back from when the, the, the parchment, anyway, the parchment was carbon dated. So yeah, they so say So the it, book itself may have been written a little bit after this, but mm -hmm. the parchment it was written on is what they carbon dated. Yes. So we're going to go with what they're saying is what the late 1400s yeah well early 1400s. sorry 1404 between 1404 and 1438, 1438. is where the 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 parchment has been carbon dated to with 95 percent probability take that for what it's worth i don't know how that science works i don't know if that science is just a bunch of guessing or what but that's mm -hmm. what the experts quote unquote say and i apologize for any names i butcher any words cities Anything like that that I cannot pronounce. Yeah, well, I, it happens. Yeah, I apologize. <laughs> it happens. So they believe, Yale believes in 1576, possibly to 1611, the manuscript reportedly sold to Holy Roman Emperor Rudolf II of Habsburg, and it, he takes it with him to Prague. Now, on the documentary we watched, what they discussed was they at first thought the book belonged to Jacobus Horsikni de Temp Tempenek. Okay. Uh, it's Horsiki yeah. of Tempest, Tempenus or Tempenek, however. Okay, so this guy was kind of a pharmacist. He worked with plants, a botanist. He used plants to make medicine. And he made a lot of money doing this. And so the Roman Emperor, Rudolf II, would hire him because I believe he suffered from depression. And so, That's what it said. Yeah, and it. so J Jacobus would make these uh, elixirs for him and different things using plants to make him feel better. So when the Emperor died, he owed him money. Apparently the Emperor owed a lot of people money. <laughs> And Jacobus was one of those people, so it's believed that the emperor gave him this book as payment. Because his name, Jacobus' name, was written um, when they were testing the paper. It was written on one of the pages, but it, the ink, I believe, had faded. They had a hard time seeing it. Yeah, it's one of those deals where he wrote on a piece of paper while it was on the manuscript. Yes, thank you. While it was in the, on the book, and they got, like, the imprint of it. Yes. So they're thinking, oh, it belongs to this guy, but then they realized it didn't. Right. Then they thought it belonged to the person who wrote the book, 
was Roger Bacon, who was a 13th century English philosopher. That's who they believe wrote the book? Yes. Well, that's who everyone thought. That's who everybody thought, but it's not. No, it Bacon. turned out it wasn't, but right. a lot of people believed it was Roger Bacon. And because he also worked in science and medicine and worked with plants. And I guess they were saying how people used to draw back then, uh, especially plants. It was more realistic to something in the 1200s than the 1500s. Sure. Okay. Who knows? But so it believed, they believed it was Roger Bacon. And I think I was reading a few things where when they talked about that, some people still wanted to believe it was him. But... I guess that was before they carbon dated it and once that kind of once they did that I threw it out the window so there's who else Georgius Barshuius sent copies of the pages to an Anthesius Kircher oh Athenasius Kircher Athenasius Kircher and <laughs> getting closer it's a Greek name that's why I and there's 240 it. pages in this book and some of them were lost and it's believed um, those pages where copies were sent to, those, those copies are lost. And Bar Shuius writes a letter to Kircher, included additional copies of text, again, now lost, but the letter survives. Um, I'm just kind of going to... Are you just going to go through this timeline like this? Not really. I'm just trying to see. Uh, basically, it goes through a lot of people. Fantastic. Voynich gets it. He can't crack it. Right. So let's talk about the book. All right. A lot of drawings, a lot of writing that I don't recognize. So the big thing is that a lot of people don't recognize. Nobody can recognize the language used that he's writing. Correct. And looking at it, part of me is like, okay, well, is it a code? I was like telling Alex, could it be like it was a code of a code, and that's why people are having a hard time trying to decipher it. Could you explain to me what a code, so of like, code is? So, like, to, like, write something in code and then put that in your own code so it makes it harder for people to understand. Like, Kind of like 16-bit encryption or, or instead of, or 32-bit or encryption instead of 16-bit encryption. Okay. If you're talking about, like, current passwords and stuff like that, you're saying that they... They coded it and then coded it again they coded off of the, the code. first code. Yeah. Yeah, that's nuts. But okay. Why? I don't know. I'm just, these are the thoughts that go through my head trying to figure, like, okay, what could this be? But what really got me were the pictures because there's a lot of pictures of plants. And some of the plants I'm looking at, I'm like, okay, like this one looks like a sunflower. One almost reminds me of milkweed, but not quite. There was another one that looked like a Venus flytrap. And I'm like, okay, so these are obviously plants. They show off the leaves, the root systems, the flowers. And then after, oh, sorry, Alex is moving my mic. Then after you go through this, it goes to another section and it starts going into different pictures. I'm just going to try to get over to that section. So it's a lot of drawings of plants for yeah. a lot of the books. But there's writing, so it's almost like you would think maybe they're talking about the plants, giving information about it. I would think with that much writing, I mean, again, we don't know what language this was in, so it, this is a, the wildest guess. Oh, yeah. But I would think that looking at the amount of writing, it's almost as if they are maybe either describing the, the plant's possible medicinal properties, yeah. maybe different alchemical reactions. If you mix it with this and you mix it with this, it's good for this. But it there's, could be anything. But, but it's there's gotta a part be, in the back where they start, it almost looks like uh, ingredients, like, um, like herbal medicine. When you're using plants, you might dry it. You use so many grams. Like, yes, yeah, so it's like instructions. Yes. Yeah, but that, well, that's what I mean. There's so much writing mm -hmm. that it's got to be, it can't just be, well, this is a plant found in the backyard of the king of France. You but know what I mean? Like it's got to yeah, be. Yeah, but if it's talking about 
this, you know, the plant gets this big, you harvest it this time of year, you use the seeds for this, you use the roots for this, something along those measures, like what it's used for. Something along those measures. Yes. I like it. I like that, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm going to use that for now. <laughs> something along those measures. Yes! Yes. Screw so, words today, so, okay? So anyway, it's, there's a lot of, a lot of writing. Yeah. So Once, it's got to be describing a lot of, I mean, it's got to be, I don't know, it, it can't just be as simple as... A lot of description. Well, yeah, but it can't just be as simple as, this is the Venus flytrap. You know what I mean? It's got to be, it's got to no, list a number I of different things. Get anyway. that, but I'm just saying maybe it's talking about the plant and its uses. Like, why you would use it, yeah, when you would use yeah, it. Yeah, right, yeah. exactly. Then it goes into for our watchers. It starts going into these circles with pictures inside the circles. A lot of pictures of women inside the circles. And it also starts going into what almost looks like zodiac charts. There's moons, there's stars, but then they have flowers, uh, almost very like sacred geometry. And you can, I'm gonna, there's like these pages. I'll see it for our watchers if I can get it up. You're going to spend the rest of this podcast wrestling with those pages, <laughs> trying to get them to fold back in. You're, you're holding it up, and nobody can really see it. Well, though. just so they can see it, like how it folds, but I'll take pictures if you're watching. I'm pretty sure you and can, I'll, I'll, I'll put some links. Okay, there. we'll put links, and you can look at it through the links. Google it. So, it goes through all these different things, and I realized that one set of them, I was like, yeah, this is the Zodiac. You have Pisces, you have Aries. Yeah. And then I was trying to count how many, because some only had, like, they had different amounts of women. There were women in writing going in a circle along it. So I was trying to count to see, like, if the amount of women matched the number of days in the month. Oh, uh, okay. But it didn't seem to always match. Hmm. So. Well, I wonder, too, back then, if, if this was written... In the early 1400s, mm -hmm. were the days of the month were there the was it the still the same amount of days in the month like we have now? Were there? I think so. When did the calendar become what we're currently using? That's what I mean. Like, was it a little bit different back then? Perhaps have we have we been on this? Is it the Gregorian calendar that yeah. we're on? Have we been on it for this many hundreds of years, or was it a little bit? different. I didn't get that far in my research. I'm just tossing questions out there. Yeah, there's a lot of pictures of women, a lot of pictures of women. There's a lot of pictures of women bathing. Interesting. Yeah, it, like, there's different things that, it almost, I, it's hard to tell if it's like, are there, like, plants, like, what's drawn in there, like, some stuff almost looks like like these little two things and I'm like is that supposed to have something to do with the plant because I can't read what it says it's, it's a little confusing I'm gonna, I'm gonna clip that so I, I can't read <laughs> I can't read the what language you, you gave you gave me long enough pause there to, to totally take that out of context and against you sometime. no I, I just I'm looking at this thing and I thought man I would love for them to figure out what it says because I want to read this book and yeah, well, if you look online, if you Google this or whatever, Bing it, or does anyone say Bing it? Search it on the web. Duck, duck, go. Duck, duck, go it, whatever. Do an internet search. You'll see, and you can just, I think I typed in, Voynich, has the Voynich manuscript been cracked yet? Or something along those lines. And a bunch of articles pop up. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I mean, there's been tons of people that figured it out. I said to Monique afterwards, I just kind of quickly glanced through it. I said, I figured it out too. It's this. Because that's what I feel like the, the explanations are. Because they're all so different. Yeah. That it's like, okay, somebody just looked at it and went, oh, it's this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The, it's, but so, I got really confused because as far as I understood, nobody's deciphered this yet. And I'm doing a search because I saw one article where somebody thought they did, but then it turns out they did not. So I'm like, okay, anything I put like 2020 just to see as of last year. Yeah. Anyone find out? And yeah, like stuff came up. And this one guy, um, I want to 
say, is it a met? A sieves, possibly. Okay. What, um, did, what did he do? So he and his family would. They wanted to figure it out, and he's Turkish, and he said that part of it reminded him of, like, older Turkish writing, the way there's, like, prefixes and suff suffixes, like, because you could tell, like, certain words, it's the same beginning throughout the sentence, and he says Turkish language does that. And what his son went on to say is that it's written phonetically, so it's not proper, it's how it sounds, and that's how it was written out in Turkish. So the, so those letters are Turkish? That's Turkish writing? That's what they're saying. It's like Turkish writing. It's like it, but it's not it. It's weird, because it's very similar. They, they were saying it might be ancient Turkish. I see, okay. So, yeah, there's some differences. And because he went on to say, like, like the sound of the letter and like you, they put it up on a screen, it was like this or this, there's two different ways. I don't know if it's because that's how the language works or if they were comparing it to... Yeah, there's, there's some characters in Greek that'll do the same thing. Yeah. So, I'm like, oh, and he put up like, they, they did like a page and they translated it. And I'm just like, okay, so wait a minute, somebody did translate this. But then it's saying, like, nobody's actually, nothing has been proven to be proper, like... Yeah, you have, nobody can agree on what it is. Yeah. Because you have whoever Flavor of the Week scientist wants to make it, you know, big this week. Yeah. Just goes, hey, I figured it out, and gives his guess, or her guess, and... Basically, that's what people say. Oh, that's got to be it. Until somebody else comes along and goes, no, actually, I've got four letters after my name, and I've got sixteen degrees, and this is what it says. You know what I mean? So, it's no. nobody knows because nobody has agreed. You know, you can't have a consensus agreement amongst the experts, quote unquote. So nobody knows what it is. It's like I said to you. It it's this. In terms of what Just the cut. book's about, I have my own theory. I Like, when we were watching the documentary, I was like, huh, I wonder if it's this then. When we got the book, looking at everything, I was like, okay, I think I know exactly what this is. Which I'll share later. Okay. But that's the thing. All these people are going on saying, I cracked it. I know what it is. Somebody, again, in 2019, I think two different people in 2019, somebody else was saying, oh, it's Hebrew, and other people say it's Latin, but it's a mix of different things. They don't know. It's, so, a, it's a language that some 10-year-old kid made up. Somebody, called, somebody said it was, what was it, like something romance or something? Uh, somebody said it was an extinct ancient language. Yeah, that had the word like romance or something in it. I don't know, but then I start wondering. Maybe it's all bullshit. It could be bullshit in the terms of somebody just drew stuff, and yeah, like they, maybe they had their own kind of language or th that they had that nobody else knew. So that's how they they didn't want anyone else to read it. They didn't want anyone stealing their work. Or it could be they were just like, I'm just gonna put this out there. It doesn't mean anything. Means yeah, nothing, and people a, will think. Just a total troll job. Yeah. Or it could be just the doodlings of a of a kid or, or a teenager or something. Who yeah. knows? Or it could be again, just not trusting anyone. These people are saying, oh, we carbon dated it and it's this far this old, but how do we really know? How do we really know they're telling the truth? Maybe they're just saying that because they want mystery so they can sell books and generate money well, I don't know interest. if this is like a big money maker. I don't know. <laughs> the, the Voyage manuscript is I'm not... trying to say <laughs> reasons in my mind why it could be I, I get why... Well, yeah. I mean, again, mm -hmm. any, any of the carbon dating stuff, I call into question because how... I, I just... I always question that all as just being best guesses because how, how do you know if something's fucking 25 million years old? How, how do you know that? You don't. Because the machine Cause, says so. Right. It's... So I always question all that kind of stuff. So I like now that you're questioning literally everything and saying that this could very well be bullshit. Because I that was my first thought too. Was this probably just a fucking made up thing? To it could be something where again busy, somebody you know? Voynich could have made it up. 
It could, could have been. Yeah, well, that's, a th that's what I mean. Like, Again, they're means, saying carbon dating, but... What do, what, do, what do they do at Yale? What are they, what are they researching? Well, let's give them something to research. Here's this. You know what I mean? Like, who Here's knows? I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, I was the same as you. I called bullshit on it at first. But at looking through it now, I'm like, eh, you know, maybe not. Maybe there is something to it. Just because of all the different pictures that are there, the fact there's all the, you know, the zodiac stuff, mm -hmm. the astrological stuff with the moon and the stars uh, and the sun and everything. So I don't know. Is it some kind of ancient, or not ancient, well, I guess ancient, uh, alchemical type guy? To, you know, I, I don't know. And there was something where they had the... Was it the moons? There was something, and it almost looked like months. It, the way it was done, it looked like, so it's like a circle, and these lines yeah. kind of come yeah. out, and it's writing. And one, I swear, it was, oh no, it was the astrological. Um, I was like, oh, it kind of looks like written out is December. So here, so I'm just going to show Alex in the book. This is Libra, hold on, it's the next page. Okay. All right. So here see got. here. I see a bunch Doesn't of Doesn't it almost women. look like December? Oh, that's the like, other page. Sorry. Yep. Yeah, so this is Sagittarius, the archer. Okay. So here, I was like, it almost looks like a D, an A, or an E, C, B, R, E. It does. Again, yeah. yeah. And then I think, was it November? Like, doesn't that look like N-O-V-E-B-E-R? Like, it looks like it says November. Yeah. Like, that's what I'm -E, saying. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so I'm just like... Say, that's in October. Yeah, October, which October. is October. Yeah. If this is yeah, it's going by the month, it has... Like month. But that's the thing, and it has, yeah. like, Scorpio, it has the right... Yeah, so it's got all the... Yeah, so it's an astrological chart. Yeah, but I was like, it kind of looks like English, too. Or, or not English, but whatever, like, rooted, so maybe Latin, I don't know. Yeah. Well, that may be why you have some people that are saying, oh, it's ancient Latin, oh, it's ancient this, because they're, you're seeing bits and pieces of those different languages in the manuscript, so... Or if know. it was a code, maybe they didn't know how to code it? Well, that's the thing. If, if it was encoded, you need the cipher to, to decode it. Yeah. So you can have something like this, if that's what it is, an encrypted manuscript. I don't know why you would do that for what looks like a medicinal handbook. But yeah. who knows if, if these are just, I, I don't know. I wonder, it's like, just, you don't want somebody stealing your work if it's like just your yeah, own yeah, it, language it well you made be. up. And I mean, going back to the 1400s, if we're to believe that's when this was written, mm -hmm. what was going on politically in, in those times? What, were, was this kind of knowledge, if that's what it is, forbidden? Well, I think when the Catholic Church is around that time, they probably didn't want they pro yeah. people of medicine. Sure. So that could very well be, if it was encoded, that would would be a reason why you would do it. Yeah. To try to keep that information, you know, keep that incriminating if it was that at the mm -hmm. time. You want to keep yeah, that you kind of information. Yeah, you want to keep yourself safe. Yeah, you want to keep yourself safe. I mean, that makes that sense. Kind of stuff, so. I'm just Who trying knows? to find something because I remembered. So in the book, in the back of the book, after they show all the pictures, it's information with what they know about the book so far because they talk about the ink and the type of ink that was used and yep. the minerals used to make the paint colors. So like azurite was there for blue. Um, I believe they used hematite for like the iron from it for red or brown. But there was something in here and I'm trying to find it because it talked about once people had it, how they were trying to figure out the language. And there was something, so we had our friend Jay, Human Vibration, on last week. Mm -hmm. And we talked about the line of purples. And just how if you see something purple, pink, it's there to show it's an illusion. And one of the groups deciphering it, it had a code name with purple. It with the word purple in it. I'm like... Huh, interesting. So it just gets me thinking. I just wanted to find it. Well, it, it doesn't always mean I know. That. But again, when but you have something mysterious like this and you wonder, sure. is it legit? Sure. 
every thought that can question it is going to go through my mind. Sure. Well, I'm just clarifying for people that may not have listened to last week. Oh, listen to last week. Yeah. You have if to. you haven't, it's... you have to. You must. It's a must. Yes. <laughs> just do it. I'm sorry. So, I'm like flipping through pages. I want to find this. Great. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Very, very professional. I'm going to leave all this in too. I'm going to berate you right here. Uh, you're unprofessional. Whatever. I'm wagging my finger. I want to find yeah, the information yeah. so yes. I can share so it. I'm looking. I'm looking. But yeah, it was interesting to hear about how they tested under microscope, like all the well, ink and how it was used, because that yeah. helped them try to date it before they got got it carbon. Well, it. well, again, that's why I'm saying if, if this was a made up bullshit hoax. Yeah. Look at look at the lengths they've gone to to keep people busy, trying to analyze and figure it out. You know. Well, they do the same thing. Some say with cancer research, they already know oh, what it is, but they're gonna keep you know yeah. making money. You want you want to cure your cancer? Don't eat sugar. Yeah. That's that's most of them right there. That's a big thing, yeah. And what's the other one? Uh, is it like CBD and THC. Like certain types of CBD oil, I think it's like Rick Simpson oil or something. It's called. Oh. I think that's been found. To, that's helped a bunch of people cure cure their cancer. I mean, people cured cancer with natural like, things. Yeah, totally natural yes. things. So, yeah, but, come on, cure for cancer. But again, just to your point, saying like, hey, let's keep people busy doing yeah, something. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Just. Uh, it, I just. I won't, I want to believe everything, but I want to question it too. It's, it's, yeah, I mean, yeah. So at, at times I, <laughs> now that I, like, I've, especially these last few years where I'm just now everything is like complete, total nonsense and bullshit as I come more and more to that realization every day. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I kind of, part of me, I don't, I wouldn't say misses, but sometimes I go, man, life would be so much easier if you're just asleep again. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Such simpler times. Yeah, much simpler times. But I, I like I like where I'm at now. I think this is fun. So. Okay, I found it. I thought it was like an endless thing, but it wasn't. During World War II, uh, they're talking about this guy Williams who was trying to decipher it. His team which was uh, devoted most of its energy to breaking the code used by the Japanese, and in parentheses they put code name purple in the United States. Oh. So. So this is that. that they're trying to team. use yeah. They're okay. this, so there was a code breaking team, I believe with naval intelligence. Yes. And they were trying to use um, the Japanese, like their their code breaking, trying to yeah, they decipher. Were, they were yeah, exactly. They're they trying were, to break the code. Yes. And it's a code name purple. So okay. I'm so it's to me it reads like what this was had a code name purple. So it just made me question. Yeah. I was like Yeah, well. I wonder. Yeah. Could be. I mean and, and was purple just a code name for well, it was a code name, but was it a code word for something else? Illusion. Deception. Because if you think about it, that's what that's what a code is, right? Yeah. You've, you've, if you encode something, you're, you're trying to deceive or, or hide from the eyes that you don't want it to fall upon. Did I phrase that right? Just trying to sound intelligent. Look what happens when I, my goodness. For sneaky peekies who want to try to steal a look. Yeah. Oh boy. Yeah. So, but yeah, but if that's, yeah, I mean, purple, that could work on so many different levels there. Exactly. Good catch. Good catch, baby doll. Good catch. Yeah. And thank you to Jay for figuring out purple. Yes. <laughs> and, and what it means. My favorite color. <laughs> I know. I was like, when I first was reading about that, I'm like, huh? Yeah. But I like it. Does that imply I like illusion? I'm like really starting to like question myself. And, uh, yeah. No, I'm kidding. But it was just funny. I was like, What's up with all the colors? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm looking in this room now. I've got a purple tissue box. Yeah. I've got a purple winter jacket coat. over here. Yeah, I guess. Unbelievable. Is anything really more? Damn. Guess not. All right. So, 
back on track. Yeah, let's get to it. So, what do you think about this book? What are your thoughts and theories? Do you think it's real? Do you think it's legit? I'm 50-50 with that. I think if you're going to hoax something like this, I think it would have been a bigger deal. It, I, I don't think enough people know about the Voyage Manuscript. I think more people do now than, than have in previous years mm -hmm. because it's been talked about on various platforms. But Are there I, any like, hoaxes that, that have been put out that just flopped? Sure. And could this be one of those? Like, this was a flaw that didn't catch on as much as they wanted <laughs> it did, it to? It didn't catch on at first, and now it catches on? It's I, I, I don't know. Who knows? It, it could be. I mean, again, like I said, it could be just something to keep the people at Yale busy. I, I, I really don't know. And when you're putting in the U.S. government code crackers, took a crack at it and couldn't figure it out in the Senate, that it kind of, to me, smells of, okay, they're just building up a story here because if the US government really helped with something like that would they really publicize it doubtful if it was real yeah I was gonna say I think so, it depends so yeah so I don't know any anytime I see stuff like that I, I, I kind of go okay what's the what's the angle here but I don't know what the angle is because again financially I don't think I don't think this was a winner so what what would be the motivation behind doing it that's where I go, oh, maybe it is real because of that. That's where I kind of wrestle with that internally. So I don't know. If, if it is real, I, I don't know what it is. My best guess is some type of a, it's got to be some type of an alchemical guide. I, that's it, you know, using plants as, as for, for medicines and that, I mean, I don't know. And may, it could be having to do both it, because it's all female drawings from what I could see. So it could be something having to do with just female medicine, female specific medicine, or I, 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 or I don't know. But that, that's the only thing I could think of. It's got to have something to do with medicine because it's got so many different, it looks like potions being made from the, the plants, just some of the drawings. That's what it looks like is being depicted. So I, I don't know. I, I I really don't know if it's real. Cool. I, I I don't know. Again, it'd be cooler if we if somebody could figure out what the hell it said, mm -hmm. so we know what it is. So that if there is any kind of real knowledge that we can you know glean from it, yeah. it'd, be, it'd be great to have that. But I don't know. I I don't know. What do you think? Do you think it's BS? Do you think, it, think it's I don't the, know the real deal or what? I, I believe, I do feel it's believable, let me put it that way, that somebody could write a book. I, one of the other things that was on the documentary, when they analyzed it, they said that there were no mistakes. So whoever did this did it perfectly the first try. It's not like they wrote letters and had to scratch it out or clear it out. They, everything was and that's just even true. and perfect. Yeah, that's true too. So... If it's legit, it had to be somebody that was really well educated and really well versed in writing. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I really, I, I don't know. I don't know if I agree. They have to be really educated and well versed. They could just be very artistic. Oh well, fair enough. I, I suppose yeah. But I do think it's believable that it could be real and they just had their own type of code language. Like I said to you the other day, could it be possible how we have code, for example, for elements? So, you know, oxygen and hydrogen, like the elemental yeah, period. Yeah. Periodic. Tape. Periodic. Tape. Yes. Thank you. And it has its letters and everything that represent it. Sure. And then maybe if you take like a code for something, this is kind of why I said it's a code with a code, and then you have your own type of language that represents that to code it in another way. That's kind of what I think I was able to just articulate a little bit better. Uh, Fair enough. And in terms of like how you could double code it. But I don't know. I, I want it to be real because it's really cool because I think it's a woman's gynecology goal. 
gynecology. I worked in gynecology for years and I'm like having a hard time saying it. It's a woman's health book. Yeah. So I, only because I'm looking at the plants and I've been studying plant medicine. So I'm like, okay, just kind of looking at the pictures because roots, flowers, leaves, like all different parts of the plant can be used. So if they're writing down what parts of the plant you can use and how it works and what it can do. And is it is with the with the astrology and the zodiac? Do you so, think maybe they're uh, was it menstrual cycles? Maybe they're trying to. Well, I was wondering, could it have something to do with the menstrual cycles? Some of these charts could it also have to do with the time of year when to like harvest your plants, like when they grow, when to use That's, it. Yeah, true. Could maybe yeah. it was multifunctional. Yeah, I didn't even think of that. That's a good call. And also with pregnancy, having time, like looking at different things, sure, because there's notes months. and you yeah. can't yeah. obviously read the notes. Right. Yeah. So, and then they have these women bathing and obviously like back then I would think a lot of medical issues for women, they would say, take a bath, like go cl clean yourself. And there's pictures of plants and different things. So that's why I wonder maybe it's talking about like what plants to put in water when you bathe. Something like in, if you have to mix things together like along those lines. So I think it's a gynecology book. <laughs> there you go. Oh natural. Yeah, there you have it. Yeah, that's that just based off pictures alone because again, okay. another section they have where they're taking parts of the plant and they're showing different things almost like you're gonna mix this stuff together and that yeah. So recipe in the back. <laughs> now if if it was BS, if it was mm -hmm. a hoax and completely made up, what would you think would be the reason for anybody to do that? If not money, some kind of fame of some sort. All right, fair enough. I, I guess I mean, they failed miserably so far, though. <laughs> well, again, it could be a flaw. Not everything yeah, always no, works course. out. Of course. Now, uh, another thing, going back to why I think it, I kind of lean towards it being possibly a hoax. Mm -hmm. uh, just the timeline of everything. And, and the fact that they're saying that, 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 was it a king? The king? Emperor? Of, emperor, whatever. Yeah, same idea, right? But an emperor had it and all that. And I'm kind of like with, with Jay about how most of the big time historical figures were probably bullshit and made up. So if that, you know, going under that hypothesis now and that, kind of feeling and belief growing in my head, I, I kind of go, so this emperor had this book, this, you know, it, eh, I don't know, I just, I feel like, I, I, I'm leaning more towards this as some kind of bullshit hoax. Well, also, just again, if, they say they go based off history, but if a lot of the stuff we're told about history is just made up, just when you think of history all together. Yeah, it is. I mean, history is a lie agreed upon. Yeah. That's all it is. It's, it's... So, so, it's just you don't really know who really had the book and how they got it and why. Maybe they held on to it for a while because they didn't want it getting out. They didn't want the information shared. And then it just got lost or so they, they didn't care anymore I don't know I, I just I find it hard to believe that if the, this being researched over the last hundred years or so and nobody's been able to recognize what this language well, is people what this have come is. out saying they cracked it but then it, nothing's right. been but nothing but again 100 percent yeah nobody is exactly that everybody just, somebody just goes I feel like uh, I feel like I want to do something important today. So, hey, that Voynich manuscript has anybody cracked that yet? You know, some dude, you know, yeah, shouting out to his assistant. And the assistant's like, "No, not yet, Mister or Doctor, whatever." Oh, I think that the Voynich. I think it's a it's a sex book. It, boom. Okay, it's a sex book because expert Philip K. 
schnozzle from the University of Wyoming or whatever says that it's a sex book. It's been cracked, everybody, and then you got your clickbait headlines for the next three But weeks it's not just what it's about. Like, like, they actually need to translate the words. Do you have to, though? <laughs> I mean, they did leave pictures, so we could get the gist of it. I mean, you know, I, that's all. I, that's why I'm just like, I, I think it's bullshit. I think somebody, somebody would have, somebody would have recognized language, by, the language that it's written by now, because if the oldest this book could be, is 1403, allegedly, according to the carbon dating that I still question. You're telling me nobody alive today would be able to recognize the language that's being used back then? It's, it well, doesn't remember, make sense. Well, they delete history every so often. Sure, but, <laughs> so. but you have people that can, can read the hieroglyphics. That are in the pyramids. But, I remember them teaching that as in like grade but, school. But they can't read this that was several hundred years after that. That's what I mean. Again, I just, but I if feel it's code. Like, okay. I mean, right, I could make up my own code tomorrow. I guess, but they can't have, even recognize the letters. Is what I'm saying. They can't. Rec they can't. But that's what I'm saying. You can make up your own letters and have a code. I guess you could. Sure. Or like certain letters together and make part of a word or something so right. somebody can make their own language and if it's their code so no one else but them can read it okay sure they could they could that's but, all i'm saying oh, okay that's a possibility but i'm saying why would somebody go through all that trouble i mean yeah we kind of said why that may have happened but i, I just i don't know I that's just, why the wheel keeps <laughs> like, yeah, exactly. Exactly. There you go. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just, I, I think somebody would have recognized something out of it by now. So there would have been not just somebody, because again, like I said, anybody can say they cracked the code or whatever. Well, I think you, I have think to you would have really had smart when you, you do would have, You would have had a consensus of people agreeing on at least some parts of this book, and you don't have that. You would think that there'd be at least five or six experts throughout the years yeah, who could agree on do you some think aspect. They of don't them. want to agree maybe. They I don't know. They keep them employed. Yeah, I mean I guess so. I don't know. That's why I just I think it's BS because because of that. And if it's not, if it is real and you have these so called experts and nobody can agree on anything in it, I just and if it's as you say, because they maybe they don't want to agree, well then what the hell are they what are they scientific experts or whatever, you know, historical experts for if they can't agree on anything? I don't know. How do you ever validate anything that you do? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I, I know. I'm, I, you know me. I always like to put all the possible thoughts I can think about there yeah. as to why. And I'm sure there's a million other reasons that we can't even think of. Oh, yeah. So, whatever. I, I, I guess ultimately I think it's a hoax, but... A pretty clever one. Again, I... It's fun. It's... I mean, I, yeah, I guess it's fun. It can be fun for the whole family. Yeah, sure. Try to <laughs> decipher it. There was something else. Oh, I just wanted to bring up uh, some of the Amazon reviews for this book. Oh, geez, yeah. Yeah, so there were some good ones. Yeah. Um, <laughs> some people were upset that they can't read it. Because they didn't translate it. And I'm sitting there as I'm reading this and I'm thinking, uh, okay, <laughs> did I miss something? So did it get translated? <laughs> but I'm like, the whole point is that they don't know what it is. That's why it's become semi famous. So I, I just. Yeah. I, they forgot to translate it. Yeah, people, like, it's just pictures. You can't understand anything written in it. It's just pictures. This book is useless. Like, Yeah, that's the point. It's, nobody's cracked it yet. Hello? I, yeah, I, yeah, I think they were confused on what kind of book it was. I think so. Yeah. So, anyway. Do you have any other thoughts on the, uh, <laughs> the Voyage Manuscript? It is a nice book. It's cool. It's it's really neat. It'll look cool. It's a coffee table book. <gasps> yes. Yes, it is. I mean, it really is, because anybody can think, oh, what's this? Yeah. 
What is this? Oh, so naked go, women. Yeah. I didn't know you were that. You could tell. I don't know what it is, and no one else does either. Maybe you can figure it out. Yeah. It's a great conversation piece. It really is. There you go. So, if you, uh, if you guys know what it is, let us know. Yeah. Or if you have thoughts <laughs> and ideas as to what yeah. it is, do you agree with me? Yeah. I... Check it out. I mean, I think you have a pretty good theory. It's as plausible a theory as any other out there. So, yeah, check it out. Let us know what you think. Yeah. Yeah, we are on uh, Instagram. No, no, we're not on Instagram. Not Sorry, on Instagram. not Instagram. We're, it's we're, gone. We're done with that one. That one's gone. Kicked it to the curb. We're, we're on Twitter. We're on Twitter, at Homewrecker Pod. What's the other one? Mines. 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 There's like nobody on mine. It's like like let's let's get I that let's get that going. Right? Well, there's like a yeah. new thing now, right? Clubhouse or something? Is that the thing it's called? I don't I have know. No idea. And there's the uh, what's the uh, parlor? That one is gone, right? That one got. I think so. That's gone. So, it's freedom of speech gone. Um, what what? Uh, so mine's is mine's is the at one. homework or podcast. Uh, sorry guys, this this has changed a bit now. So, yeah, that's our it. website, our website, yeah, homeworkerpodcast.com, and we're on YouTube, righty on, and I'm having a hard time with BitChute. It that doesn't want to upload my videos. That bit show was being a bitch. Yeah, it was. Damn it, BitChute. Mm. Yeah, so that needs to upload my videos instead of just sticking and processing forever. But for now, YouTube and righty on. Yeah. Try to shoot. Give it a try. Yeah. And yeah, for our watchers and yes. listening, you can hear us anywhere. But if you listen on iTunes, please give us five stars. And if yeah. you want to put a little something nice, let us know what you think about the show. You can talk about how great my wife is and about what a jerk I am. <laughs> People yeah. love to do that. <laughs> yes. Talk about how mean I am. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah. So let us know what you yeah. think. But and subscribe and yes. like. Please and, and thank you. Find me on Etsy, oh, Wonders sorry. by Monique, and my website, tarotbymonique.com. and I'm on Twitter at underscore Monique Giselle underscore, and that's M O N I Q U E G I S E L E. One L, not two. There you have it. And how can Very people well. find you? I'm on the Twitter. It's uh, the Alex Arion. The. The. That's right. Because somebody took Alex Arion. <laughs> Frick. <laughs> and this was back when I joined Twitter in like 2010. Oh yeah, it was a while ago. Like whatever yeah. it was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm there. Uh, you can go to alexarionfitness.com as well. And don't you have another yeah. little podcast? Oh yeah. Uh, the A2 G2 show. With Alex Arion. Yeah. And I'll, I haven't, this last week or so, recorded any new episodes because I record when I go on my morning walk. Yeah. And it's been, like, it's negative. Been ridiculously <laughs> it's been, cold. It's been, like, below So you zero. don't want to hang out outside? So, uh, no, I, I'm still going and walking. I just... No, I mean, like, after you're done, you don't want to stand around outside and just record? No, it's not that, because I record as I'm walking. Oh. So I'm I'm, do, I'm walking as I'm oh. walking, yeah, but I can't. My gloves are so thick I can't operate the phone, and it's too cold. If I take them out, my hand will freeze. <laughs> if I go to take them out and hit record to hold the phone as I'm talking into it, yeah. So I haven't done any uh, this past week. Hopefully, if it gets up to like the single digits, maybe I can, I can hack it. Well, <laughs> but, but hopefully yeah, by the time this comes out, there will be one. <laughs> yes, but yeah, check that out too if you guys don't mind. It's just me talking about whatever comes to mind as I'm doing my morning walk. All right. Yeah, it's yeah. fun. Good times. Uh, so yeah, so that's that. And uh, you have any other closing thoughts? You know what I realized what? just now, as after we just were wrapping up. I didn't ask you if there's anything new going on. We just immediately got into the Voyage we Manuscript did. this week. I apologize for that. I'm that's really okay. sorry. That's okay. I, I, like, we just kind of went with this flow, and I didn't want to break it up, so... Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, we'll save that for next week. We'll catch up. All right. Yes. So next episode, we will catch up and yes. see how we've been doing or something. Because we don't... 
you know, we're not married, we don't live together or anything. So we don't know how we're doing. I just like to talk about myself. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, until next time, I am the Golden Greek Alex Arion. I've been joined, as always, by my beautiful, lovely, gorgeous, amazing trophy wife. Yeah, you. You. Woo! Who else but you? Huh? The lovely Monique. And you've been listening to the Homewrecker Podcast.